It's 8.45 this year. I'm headed to the Saturday, the last Saturday knife gig for 2015 at East Beach. I got a call from a lady yesterday who wants me to swing by and pick up her husband's knife, sharpen it, and refurbish it. It's a custom-made David, I think it's called a Winkler. Whitler. Winkler, I think. It's a hunting knife type, you know, sport type knife, fixed blade, carbon steel. It's got some rust on it here and there. It's really, it don't seem to be pitted, but in one place, one or two places, but it looks terrible. It's got a light film of rust all over it. But I think the buffer will take care of all that. But I haven't actually seen it, only pictures. So I'm going by to get that first. Since we're on the winter hours, the, the show doesn't start till 10, so I got you know plenty of time. She lives over there near where my daughter lives, about five minutes from there. Okay, I'll get back to you in a little while. Oh, while I got you, might as well tell you about Dottie. Dottie was doing really, really well with the leash. We took the leash off. Uh, what's the day? Saturday. We took the leash off Thursday, and everything was super duper. Actually, we took the leash off Wednesday night, and she worked well with it off. She went out, came in, went out, came in, just like she's supposed to. Same thing Thursday. In and out, just like she was made to do that. However, yesterday morning, it worked fine. She went out, came in. Yesterday afternoon, she went out, she came in, but... I had to make two trips outside with Jack to get her to come in. In the evening, I had to make three trips outside for her to get her to come in. And then after her dinner, she would not come in. So we left her outside. We went to dinner and we came back about 8.30 and we kind of herded her up here and there in the yard. And I don't know if we uh, figured, if she figured it out or not, but she finally went up to the porch and we opened the door and she went in. And since then, she's had the leash on last night again, late, and then all day, twice this morning. But she's fine with the leash. She knows what the leash is all about. And we thought she was fine without it, but apparently she's hard-headed. Well, she just don't like to be indoors, one or the other. I have to get back to you on that. Well, we picked up that knife. Stand by. I think this is an expensive knife, if I'm not mistaken. It's a leather case. It's got four screws in it, like they use on Kydex, you know. But it's all sewed together. I think that's probably the problem. It's got sitting in this case so long, it's got some dust on it, you know. It's about five inches long. There's the worst of it right there. Right there in that one spot right there. I don't see anywhere there's a name on this knife, but I know that's what it is, a Winkler. That could be... no, nope, that's just rust. Okay, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. We're not going to mess with it today. We just picked it up. <laughs> the first customer. And this is a nice old set of Hinkles. See them? Yeah, yeah, Hinkle. Twin Works, Germany. Nice taquita. Okay. Or two. One big chef knife. 
I can't tell who whose it is. But it's big. And one, two, three, five pair of scissors. Stand by. Ginsu. Serious. Japanese steel. But made in China. But I got action. Well, a Winkler knife turned out pretty good. You can finally see where it says Winkler right there. Winkler knives. Now I got to sharpen it a little bit. I sharpened it a little teeny bit at the uh, market just to clean it up a little bit on the blade. When you buff them, it, it dulls them right out. But that's a pretty nice little taquita. This thing is, like I said, very expensive knife. If you Google Winkler knives 2, you'll see, buddy. That thing will take your breath away. But she's fancy. Okay, I'll get back to you. Now, getting back to the internet download, upload. One of, the, one of my buddies, J uh, Dave Jeffries, wanted to know what kind of box I had coming into the house. Well, I don't know that I can answer all that, but I'm going to show you this box. Telephone network interface. And then I have a great big gray box that says Verizon. Alcatel. And here's another box. It says Aris. A R R I S. And that goes into a box that's mounted in there. But that's strictly for the telephone, I think, from what I understand. Man in the internet. But he didn't mess with that at all. It's a funny looking thing. But it's a gray box out here, Dave. And another big gray box right there. And I presume that was a box maybe that originally was when it was Cox cable. Okay. I'll get back to you. After I'll see how long this takes. I'm sure it's gonna take a while because the problem has not been resolved unless it resolved itself overnight. Stand by. <laughs> 